What's up, y'all? Hey, how you doing? What's poppin'? It's your girl, J. Millie. Today is Monday. It is 5.54. I was told about this new food spot down in the waterfront. And they have like burgers, really cheesesteaks, wings, and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to go down there. I've been real into rings lately, y'all. Don't mind this one. It's missing a couple little gems. But I think it's super cute. It's a pinky ring. But I've been really hella into rings lately. And just like jewelry and accessorizing and shit. We just got down here. Um, I was a little nervous at first because I was like, are they even open? Like, they don't, like, it's a new spot. It opened up, like, two months ago. I'm sorry? What time is it? i never been here. So, hold on, let me see. Let me see. I would say, I work at the, uh, Cino and C told me to come. <laughs> you. <laughs> this sound good. <laughs> I think it's not good. What's your favorite thing? The Philly cheese steak. The Philly cheese Okay. I'm kind of hungry. I might do a six piece. Yeah, that should be cool. Yeah. And I'll drink a drink. Oh, I'll get a little lemonade. I'll be back in 20. Thank you. Okay. It will be ready about 6 30. So, and I'm sitting right here. So, it don't really matter. We got a little. Q&A, y'all. We got a little q and I had posted a little link for that not go lie anonymous little questions tab thing because I feel like some people are scared or they're nervous to ask questions because it's not anonymous. Like, I know who you is. I will preface this video by saying I be asking y'all to ask me questions and y'all be sending me statements. I'm going to take some of y'all's statements and just turn it into a question. Question number one. You should be my bestie. I got a best friend, y'all. But they're fake as fuck. I still love them. But they don't be acting like my best friend no more. I don't do girl best friends no more because I got too much friendship PTSD. Like, most of the PTSD and the trust issues that I have come from friends. Some of these females are really crazy out here. I'm just cool with people. I'm cool with people, and if you in my inner circle, you in my inner circle. If you not, you not. I'm sorry. Question number two. I'm here for you if you ever need. I would just like to take this moment and say thank y'all so much for being not only continuously supportive, y'all continuously show love, y'all show out, y'all show up, and it really means a lot to me because a lot of people say a lot of things, but the people that are actively and consistently showing consistent love, like, I appreciate y'all so, 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 so much. I mean, like, y'all keep me motivated, y'all keep me inspired, and I really, really, really appreciate y'all and all the love that y'all be showing me. Question number three, what do I have on my OF? Let me let y'all know this right now. I do not promo my spicy content. It's more of a if you want her, you want her. If you not, you not. Question number four. What's the best gift I've ever received? Best gift I've ever received. The best gift. The best gift. Now, if y'all want me to be real, the best gift I've ever received was life. When it comes to like actual physical materialistic things, probably some flowers. I love flowers. I'm not a very I'm not materialistic at all, like at all. I'm very appreciative. I'm a very grateful person. So I'm gonna just say some flowers because shit like that really mean a lot to me, and I really appreciate shit like that. Question number five: How tall am I, y'all? I'm five three on a good day. Okay, I'm five three, looking like five seven on a good day. Okay. Um, but if I went to the doctors right now, it'd probably say five, two and a half. Question number six, y'all. What do you have to do to go on a date with me? I'm a big communicator. I love communication. If I feel like we can talk and we can chit chat and we can banter and we can have that conversation and it's flowing nicely and lovely, that's what I look for. Dudes, that be in my DM, 
with swipe it up with the hard eyes let me show you some try and get some note all that extra shit do not be impressing me y'all i don't care about shit like that i never have never did when you ask me to go on a date with you please have a place picked out have a time ready a date ready a backup date just in case one of us got work or the schedule just ain't working but like if you want to go on a date with me don't ask me to go on a date and i'm like okay what do you want to do and then you're like i don't know like what do you want to do don't ask me what i want to do when you're asking me to go on a date like question number seven question number seven is a story time so i'm guessing you're asking me to do more story times and if that's the case girl boy whoever asked this question i got you i'll start doing more little story times like this question number eight how wet is it on a scale from one to ten baby let me tell y'all this right now just in general okay because my shit damn broke the scale for the men out there for all the guys for all the gentlemen wondering the amount of wetness you get from a girl is solely based on how you make them feel the more attractive a female is to you the wetter she will be simple and plain if there ain't no foreplay, if you ain't doing the do right, if you ain't tickling her, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't getting her aroused, naturally that shit will be drier than the Sahara Desert, okay? And I'm not even trying to play. I'm not even trying to be funny right now. But like, the more effort you put into it, the more attention you give her, the more foreplay involved, the more build up you have overall, the more attractive she will be to you, the wetter it will be. You know what I'm saying? Question number nine. What are my standards for a partner? All I require for my partner is to be on their shit, whatever it is. To have a good head on their shoulders, to be respectful, to be clean, have good hygiene, to take care of themselves. Because a man that takes care of themselves is going to take care of you, naturally. Knows how to speak their opinion knows how to stand on their opinion and what they got going on actively pushing to benefit themselves in one way or another nice smile that's all i want that's all i need I swear to god question number 10 how often do i masturbate first of all y'all's fucking nasty y'all's nosy y'all's nasty y'all need to mind y'all's business but since y'all asking i don't do it a lot i've always just been with some chill shit always I'm gonna say the last little bit of questions because I think the food is almost ready. Let me go check. Let me go check. Let me go check. Alright, cool. Do y'all have, um. Yeah, that's cool. That's just cool. Y'all got sides of hot sauce too? Can I get like two of them, please? Mm -hmm. I told her. I said, my brother don't like it. I told her before we already got it. I was saying, I am. Y'all gotta check it out. Let me put a little menu on there. It's called Gym World. It's called It's Lit, y'all. Make sure y'all come check it out. Yup. Because he told me about it, and I was like, okay, because he said y'all opened up like two months ago, right? Yeah. I was about to say, yeah. Like, I'm definitely going to have to come and try it. Thank you so much. Have a good one, y'all. I'm so hungry. I can't wait. This is it, yeah. Make sure y'all check it out. It's down in Waterfront. It's right down the street from Eon. If y'all know where Eon's at. But it's real cute outside. So make sure y'all check it out. We got the food, y'all. I made sure to get some hot sauce because if y'all don't know, I'm addicted. We're gonna open it up together, y'all. Oh. Ooh. I'm not going to hold y'all. This smell fire. This smell fire. Y'all, this smells so good. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, this is a big pop of fries. Oh, yeah, some type of seasoning on this. It's so good. Like, hold on. I can't even focus because I'm hungry. I got a six piece wing and it added cheese fries on the side. 
girl the bun came right out i know that's right let me show y'all Ooh, if y'all could see this theme hold on came right off the bun y'all I just fucked that wing up. That's how good it was. Y'all better go get y'all one of these. This shit fire. Question number 11. Would I ever have a friends with benefits? Nah, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't think I could do a friend with benefits. I really don't. I don't like sharing in general. I don't like sharing. I'm very stingy when it comes to mine. I don't think I could do that because... My feelings is getting involved, even if I don't want them to. Mmm. Mmm. I know y'all heard that crunch. Yeah. Mmm. Question number 12. Is everything okay? I like to think everything is okay. Even if things aren't okay. I'm going to always say it's okay. Because your reality is your mentality. Question number 13. Do I still do art? Yes, y'all. Yes, I still do art. Look at how seasoned this wing is, y'all. This shit is really good. I will say I don't be doing it as much as I used to because I don't have as much free time. But I still do art. If you're interested in a piece, literally just DM my art page at 5 Millico. Question number 14. How do you contact me for collabs? You can DM me on Instagram at jmillie. You can email me here. I'll put the email right there. Question number 15, y'all. This is the last question. Post more on Instagram. Now, I will tell y'all that I have been trying to rebrand myself. Like, the reason why I don't post on Instagram as much as I used to, because I used to be very, very active, is because I felt like people were starting to get the wrong perception of me. And then people don't show a lot of support anyways. They don't. So it's like if I'm going to be putting work out there, if I am going to be posting, it needs to be for a reason. Networking, promo, I'm doing it from like I'm saying I'm getting paid for this or something like that. I got two wings left and I got some fries left. The wings was cooked fantastically, seasoned really, really well. Um, the customer service was super good. They was super quick. Like I literally got my food in 20 minutes. They make all the food to order. I would give it like a solid nine out of ten. I gotta put this away now because. My belly's expanding and my my whole belly's out. <laughs> so we're gonna put this right back in here. But it was so good, y'all. Like this shit was so good. Y'all see me fuck it up. So y'all know I'm not even capping. That's all the questions that y'all had asked, the questions, the statements that y'all had asked. I wanna say thank y'all for tapping in and watching the video and just you know what I'm saying chilling with me for a little second. Make sure y'all go tap into It's Lit down in Homestead. It's literally called It's Lit. Like I-T-S-L-I-T-T. -T. It's called It's Lit. Make sure y'all go tap in because their food is fire. And thanks for chilling with me, y'all. We had some good food. We answered some questions. If y'all do have any other questions, do not be afraid to ask me or comment them down below. Like, I will answer y'all's questions. I like to talk. I like to talk, I like to chit chat, I like to get into it. I'm not afraid to talk about anything. I will talk about anything at any time as long as you can communicate back with me. Feel me? I don't wanna huh? Fancy Beauty and Fussy, y'all. Let's hop into it. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Just playing hard to get. Please record your message. When you have I'll take a rain check on that smile.